Hi, Bio 107 students. This is Sage Frenetovich, your instructor. I am going to show you how to use chartgo.com to make a graph. Pretty simple, pretty intuitive, um, but with kind of these big buttons here, it can be a little bit misleading. So you start here on chartgo.com and we work through the settings. So for lab one, where you are comparing foot length and height in centimeters, I always recommend a line graph. Uh, it just comes out nicely. A title for the graph could be foot length versus height. Your X title. So this is the axis that is horizontal. This will be foot length. And you always want to include your units. So we are using centimeters. The Y title should be height, also in centimeters. And that gives us um, the same unit so we can kind of compare. Uh, you don't have to include subtitle or source. Uh, for max Y and min Y, I do recommend setting something up here. So your height is going to be anywhere from, we'll say 200 centimeters as your max, 100 centimeters, let's go a little bit taller, 100 centimeters as your minimum. Okay. Uh, you don't really want to go from zero to a thousand on your y-axis, that's the vertical line. Um, because that's going to condense all your data into like a very small range on your graph and it'll be hard to see correlations. But if you make a min and a max that are just a little bit slow, smaller and a little bit higher than your um, lowest and highest data points, then your data will be spread out and you'll be able to see any correlations that are there. These are all options and you're welcome to play around with them if you want. <clears throat> the X data, it has information here and that's just to set you up for your project. I'm gonna use the data from my summer lab. So clicking over here, I've got foot length and I will copy that bring it over to the x-axis here, paste. Shortcut is control C for copy, control V for paste. And then for my height, highlight this, copy that, and that can go right there. And you should have the same number of data points for each of the axes. Now we create chart. And if you did that, your chart would look like this. In this chart, we can see that we probably could have gone a little tighter with our Y min and Y max, maybe 220 for a max and 130 for the minimum. But even without that, we can see a steady increase of foot length. As it increases, height also tends to increase. If we close up that minimum gap, let's see what that looks like. 220 and 130. Hey, that defaulted to a bar graph. But we could view it as a line graph. There, the correlation gets even more dramatic. So what you'd want to do is copy your chart and attach it into your file for your lab report. You can also do a screenshot of the whole thing 
and include that as a JPEG. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out with my email.